Cameraman Eli, man, what's going on, bro? What's good with you? What's good? Man, nah, you one of the top cameramen in New Orleans, man. <laughs> Where did it all start from, bro? Uh, probably started about three years ago, something like that. Three years ago? Yeah, like, I used to play sports, believe it or not. I'm short, but you know, I used to play sports. I was actually, like, a really good football player. Uh -huh. So, like, basically I had a little injury that really stopped everything. I don't want to go into too much depth about the injury or whatever, but... You know, uh, I had an injury that stopped everything. So, like, basically, I just used to, like, recording my partners that played football. Right. Shit like that. So, with that being said, I just, you know, I went to college. I linked up with this dude named Els. Hella Bear Els. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He, uh, he was, like, my first ever video. So, like, ever since then, I was, like, I just kept on going, kept on going. You know, saying now I'm here. Three years later. Uh huh. Now, um, what college did you go? To? I was a southern. Did you go to college for um filming? Uh, yeah, you could say that. I went for mass comm. That was like the newsroom shit. Right. But like, that wasn't my forte. I know how to do everything in the newsroom. Like, that's something like real easy for me. But that wasn't my forte. Uh huh. Now going off from your first video, you say you shot your first video with Hella Bands L. Yeah. Did you? Did you charge or was it for free? I mean, it was free. It was for free? <laughs> free. I can't charge somebody if I don't know what I'm doing. That was free. I ain't gonna lie like that. You know, how, did, how did it come out? It's not on YouTube, no boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. What, what was your first video you, you got money from? Nico Benz, uh This song called Run It. Mm -hmm. Nico Benz song called Run It. That was my first ever video I ever charged for. I can tell you how much that bitch was. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I was that too. Fifty dollars. <laughs> now say that. How did you get from the inspiration or the motivation from fifty dollars to keep going and assume you are gonna get like three hundred, four hundred, five hundred for a shoe? Believe it or not, I was I was looking at other videographers like I, I look at a Zay, mm -hmm. a Zay or you know AZ Production Chicago. Yeah, I'll look at Zay. I'll look at... No, Zay was actually my biggest inspiration. I'm not going to lie to you. From the Chief Keep stage, right. where he used to be shooting, shooting on Chief Keep everybody. Videos. So I'm looking, everybody. Like, I'm looking at Zay shit. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I got to do something because this ain't right. This right. this not looking like Zay shit. So, right. I mean, I ain't going to say he inspired me a lot. He influenced right. me like, with my videos and shit like that. But when, it, when it came down to it, I was like, man, something not right. I was looking at the quality. Mm-hmm. I was looking at the way everything was looking. I was like, this ain't right. I got to get on this. I got to get on. I got to get better. I got to get better. All right. So I'll call my homies. I'll call my partner, Dre. Uh, welcome to Cozy. I'll call him Dre and be like, yo, we got to go outside. We got to do something. Let me just record you we walking gotta or some shit. I got to practice. I got to do something. Call my, uh, everybody that was kind of known at Southern, like mm -hmm. London Baby, uh, Monty. Yep. Uh, Els used to always be on campus. B, mm -hmm. Kenneth Brother. Always calling them. Let me just take your picture or something like that, you know, uh -huh. just to just to try and get better. Mm -hmm. Now, um, getting getting LinkedIn. How do the um, I guess the popularity come in? How do you connect with artists? Like you were saying, you were seeing on campus. How do you, I guess, build a relationship? We're not too close of a relationship that it'll affect business with y'all. The thing about it is, that's what I try to do. Though I mm -hmm. try to build a relationship with everybody I talk to mm -hmm. or that I shoot with. Because when you build a relationship with them, they you know, so they feel more comfortable with you. Yeah, but report better. You always keep business where it's at, mm -hmm. and you keep a friendship there too. Cause we could be cool, but if you my partner, you should know like, all right, Eli charged this. As me being like a business person, something like that. Of course, if you my homie, I'm gonna always discount prices and everything like that for you. But like, business and relationships go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So like, when it came down to me getting cool with like B and everybody like that, it will still be like. We cool, but you know, at the end of the day, it's still, you know, yeah, saying, still business. Still gotta make the man. Now, what's the pros and cons of being a director? Like? When they want you, when they want their work ASAP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just shot this 30 minutes ago. You want the whole thing? I'm texting, right? yeah. <laughs> like, damn, yeah, but you think send me that clip. They gonna hit you with that, man. We think it's gonna be finished. Uh, I mean, the contract is say five to ten days, but like. Man, damn, I'm tweaking for it. Everybody tweaking for it. Damn, we just shot it two, two minutes ago. <laughs> How you tweaking? We just shot it. Uh -huh. but, so, you know, so, um, without no videos on your play, how, how long would you say one video would take for an artist? A day. A day? You'll get it done that day? With no, with no videos on my plate? Mm -hmm. Either a day or uh, 
one or two days. One mm-hmm. or two days the most. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not saying that. What's the most, I guess, I would say the most beneficial thing for you being a cameraman in New Orleans? Um, other creatives have respect for you. Mm-hmm. Um, you get recognized. It's a small city, so That's everybody gets to know each other really quick. So as far as me being a creative and videographer, director, and all that, so you know, a lot of people know me. So yeah. you get a lot of perks with that. So I can't really go into details of what you really get from it, but you just you, it feels different. Mm-hmm. What's the most? I guess I would say with all dealing with artists that besides like them asking for the video fast. Something, some artists you encounter that is just is just nagging and aggravating to you. Uh, trying to dis, trying to get a discount on my prices, mm-hmm. or try to give me the lower how much I already initially charged you. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I said my price, I said my price. Mm-hmm. I don't think this before when I first started, year one, year two, you could negotiate me. All right. But like now, I'm at that point where like. If, if you don't want to sue me, go shoot somebody else. You can't hit me up for a reason. Mm-hmm. You know my worth. So I don't negotiate prices no more. That's the main thing, mm-hmm. negotiating prices. How do you, I guess, separate yourself from other directors and videographers, but still having the amount of respect for the ones you do respect in the city? I try not to be like everybody else. Mm-hmm. Um, I follow my own wave. If I feel like something's supposed to go a certain way or if i feel like i don't want to do it like them or anything like that i'm gonna i'm gonna go with my mind tell me and not what everybody else tell me to do Mm -hmm. now you now now you um what what you feel like being different what you feel is your most unique talent in editing i i'm versatile Mm -hmm. i can edit any way that needs to be edited i can add animations i can go strictly cinematography you know, I can edit any type of way. So, like, if an artist wants a certain type of edit to their videos or special effects, I can do it. You know, but um, I'm versatile. I'm very versatile when I'm editing and shooting. Now, coming up with price points, how do you do that? Don't You don't need to tell your price to the people, but how do you develop that and come to a conclusion when you're in a room like, all right, I'm set on this, boom? Um, I have a base price. Mm-hmm. Then I go into the budgets. So I go based off the locations and uh, travel distance and everything like that. So once I calculate (laughs) what I'm going to have to do with the song in the video, and I ask you, you know, what else you want to put in there? Do the budgets and everything like that. So I don't really have a set price. Mm -hmm. I have a set base. Where I start. We start at this price. And it goes up. And then it goes up to whatever you want to add on to it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. That's now, who, now who are some artists you like working with the most? Who are your favorite artists? You sure I already know. Treaty, Treaty was my favorite. Uh-huh. Uh, Glenn. Mm-hmm. Glenn. Glenn. Seven. One of my favorite people to work with. And then I got my homie Diesel. You know, he a, he a up to, uh, upcoming rapper. He from Kevin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like working. With him. He he got that drive with him. Mm-hmm. That drive. Uh, um, why are they your favorite artist? You mentioned Treaty first. Why is she your favorite artist? The man, with? Treaty, like, man, I'm, I'm just give you a little rundown. When I first met Treaty, bro, I offered to shoot that shit for free. Everybody want to know. Everybody know. You know. <laughs> I said that was the first ever. Uh, and what year was that? That was uh 2017. Mm-hmm. Early. 2017. That was when she first dropped uh Dick Drop Balls mm-hmm. or whatever, right? But I heard the song. And I was still upcoming. I was like, man, look, I like this song. Right. You know, like even this bounce music, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's bounce music. I was like, I like this song. Let me see. So I said, let me shoot the video. On some, I didn't think she was gonna hit back, but she hit back. She was like, let's shoot it. So everybody was clowning me. You no, know, man, you shoot bounce videos, all that other stuff, man. Bounce songs and bounce. Man, treated uh, really hard working, dog. Mm-hmm. Hard working, bro. In the studio with her, being around her. We done took trips together. We went to Atlanta. We done went everywhere. Treated hard working, very hard working. That's why I like working with her. She's she been having a drive since 2017, since day one. You know what I'm saying? So energy's never changed. Nothing ever switched up with me. You know, we like, that's like my sister. You know what I'm saying? That's blood to me. Mm-hmm. Not, not saying that. What's. 
do you get a, um offended by the term i guess cameraman when people throw it around is the cameraman term like the soundcloud rap term for directors or editors it is <laughs> but your name cameraman you lie on instagram let me just let me put it like this i'm stuck with that uh -huh. i don't know why because it's a treaty <laughs> that's your brand treaty like she she promoted me so much to where like Everywhere we went performing, mm -hmm. this is my cameraman, and then she'll say Eli. <laughs> Connect cameraman <laughs> Eli. So that's where cameraman Eli came from. Mm -hmm. Other than that, um, if I had a choice, I wouldn't go by it, but I already stamped as that. But right now, all my videos is directed by Eli. It's not cameraman Eli. Right. <laughs> directed by Eli in my brand, right. Chanty Visits. You guys, so yeah. Now, um, Chanty Visits. Is that like a visual production company you want to bring to fruition, bring it up, build it up? I wouldn't say a visual production company, but it's going to be this aspect of it. Um, I wanted to get into the music side of things. I want to be like a full blown production company to where like it's clothing. I want clothing. I want music. I want my own artists. I want videographers underneath me. I want photographers underneath me. You know, I want, I just want that as a big stamp of incorporation. Like, I want you to be like, you know, Shanty Vision shot this. So, you know, or you know, incorporated by Shanty Vision, something like that. Now, before before we are going with the Shanty Vision, uh, I wanted to touch on the bomb top when you said shooting about this video. Y'all recently, you and um, Sub T Sean, y'all went viral for, um, was it the City Girls? Um, <laughs> the City Girls, what, what the um, song called? Oh, the Tork? Act Up. The Act Up. The Act Up. <laughs> How was that shooting a video? Y'all was in a skating ring. Y'all was on it late. How was that shooting a video? They going viral. Bro, I see what artists go through, man. <laughs> I see exactly what artists go through. Uh -huh. But, man, crazy thing is, we was in L.A. with Chance the Rapper. Mm -hmm. We was in a hotel room. We was just thinking, like, man, this act up song kind of hard. Let's put on an instrumental. <laughs> Before the challenge really even got big, like... Right. We, I think we we started that shit, bro. We had to have started that bitch. I think we started that bitch. But look, before the challenge got big, we were like, man, put on instrumental. Sean wrote his verse. I wrote down some. It was like, all right. Let's make a trailer. We made a trailer. People was really Boy, fucking with it. It was like, oh yeah, this bit hard. Mm -hmm. Cool. As soon as we touched back in New Orleans, straight to the studio, we went to uh, this dude named Johnny Beats. Uh huh. Man, we recorded that song in a day. Had the song back next day. We shot the video two days later. Mm -hmm. And like that shit, that whole experience, it was fun, but that shit was stressful. <laughs> what what is stressful. that now? Like the views, what is that now? You like, keep up with it? Mm, we had like 140,000. Mm -hmm. What's your highest view video? Uh, I say about 400,000, 400,000, 500,000 mm -hmm. views. That's with uh, Treaty. Mm -hmm. That's my highest view video. Definitely. Now, um, I want to get back. I want to get back to the Shanty Visions. Yeah. How do you, um, I guess, are you by yourself right now? Do you have a team with you so far? I have a mini team. Mini uh, team? Like I said before, I mentioned his name, Dre. Welcome mm -hmm. to Closing. He's like, he's part of my team. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like, me and him. And uh, I want to expand a little bit more, but it's, I got to build that trust with other people. It's hard to trust people. Right? Mm -hmm. How do you, um, I guess, go about evaluating or looking for talent and then developing it? Um, what do you mean by, like, if, like, like, um, I guess if you say, like, you want to, um, at least sign rappers or videographers, uh, anybody else on it, how you go looking for them and how do you determine that it's you want to be around the team? It's about your dedication. Mm -hmm. If you're not dedicated to it, I don't want you around. I don't want nobody that's here because I have clout or a little bit of hype behind me and trying to steal what I have and it's all about me. Because if I have clout or like if I'm getting big and I'm making all this money, I'm going to make sure that you making the same amount of money I'm making. Right? You know what I'm saying? If, if not the same amount, but good enough to where like you feel like this is something I want to be a part of. So I want you to use me to build yourself, right. but don't try and use me to build your own brand and, and roll out. bash me yeah. and try and go against me. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to help. Mm -hmm. That's one thing about health. You guys, anybody in the city, I help. You know what I'm saying? They need help. Mm -hmm. so, now, with, um, being helpful to a lot of artists, uh, a lot of people, do you ever feel like uh, artists or other people are not humble enough or backstab you or go behind your back and do something that you feel just ain't beneficial to both of y'all? Yeah, I done dealt with that a couple times. I don't want to get into it, mm -hmm. but I done dealt with people that, like, I done helped out a substantial amount. And 
and they really like turned their backs on me or like you know got what they could and then once they said I couldn't give no more they dipped out on me so like I, I would say like you just you I just keep my head level I don't hate nobody I, I forgive people I forgive everybody that done did me wrong you know what I'm saying but like I just know not to do it again All right. if I were to give mm -hmm. now a lot of things uh, this question is a lot for a lot of rappers because I asked a lot of rappers, do they ever think about giving up on being a rapper? Do you ever think about giving up? Oh, I gave up every year. Uh -huh. I gave up every year. Up until now, <laughs> I probably gave up about six times. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, I'm done. I don't want to do this no more, man. It is what it is. I'm straight on it. Give up. Be ready to sell my equipment and everything. Mm -hmm. But like, the love for it, I can't quit. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it too much. I, I can't see myself really doing anything else but expanding myself mm -hmm. you know so yeah i had moments where i wanted to quit like this year like well not this year 2019 was my first consistent year all the way through oh, okay. yeah Seven. now what's the most i guess um best i guess the best part for you of being a director is it filming is it editing is it going connect with the artist is it finding spots traveling what is it I would say it's traveling mm -hmm. and the editing. Actually, I like all of it. I, ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I like all of it. I mm -hmm. like all of it, real talk. Because once I see something, I'm like, man, I could do this and that and this and that. And then, like, my mind get the racing. When I'm editing, yeah. my mind races. So many so, ideas. Yeah, like, I, I love all of it. Filming and everything. Mm -hmm. Now, um, where has the filming took you so far throughout the state, cities? That you think you will never go for filming? Cali. Mm -hmm. I went to Texas, Atlanta, Miami at that. Like, mm -hmm. I was shocked, you know what I'm saying? But Cali was the biggest place because I done met Cardi B and, uh, and Chance and you know, Tiger's manager and everything like that. Mm -hmm. I met Neil. I met Neil. <laughs> How like, was it meeting them all? It was from, from your career. It was, I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was starstruck uh -huh. for a second, but meeting them made me want to be there, like, I don't, I don't want to be mediocre, you know what I'm saying, I want to be low level, I want to be where they at. Yeah, I want to level with them. Yeah, I want to be up there, I want them to hit me up, like, personally, like, you know, Eli, I need you to come to LA, or I need you to come to New York, come shoot for me. Definitely. You know? Now, when going out and filming, uh, are you looking to get into short films, movies, commercials, Commercials, yeah, but I don't want to. I don't think movies are in my lane. Mm -hmm. I can't see myself shooting them uh, out on movie. I know a lot of directors be like, I'm gonna get into movies and <laughs> everything like that, but like, that don't interest me. Mm -hmm. don't. You just want to be in a music video, right? Like, music videos and you know, photography and everything like that. But short films, I probably could from a short film, but as far as a movie, is like that's a different ball game for me. It's not my ball game. Definitely not. I might add it, but not right now. Not right now? Nah, how far you feel you are away to building your brain to where you want it to be at? This year. This year? 2020. Mm -hmm. I already got a lot of things in, in place and in order. I've got merchandise coming. I'm throwing my first few Shanty Business events. I'm probably throwing like three this year. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's a lot coming into play this year. So. Gotcha now. What's next for you, man? You say you got the events coming and let the people know all your social media platforms where they can reach you for a video, email, anything. Right. Um, what's next? Uh, the events. Basically, the merchandise. Uh, the website is launched. Um, Shantyvisions.com. C H A N T I V I Z I O S. Dot com. And you can book me through the website. Um, my email is shantyvisionsbookings at gmail.com. And you know, all social media platforms, Cameraman Eli. For sure, we on TV visuals, man. Cameraman Eli, he stuck with that name, but it's directed by Eli. Any last words for him, man? Uh, nah, that's good. You know, come get your, get your shit shot by me. We got no vision you can't see. For sure, we out, man.